Hey, welcome back to the Build Show. Steve Basic Architect here. We're down at our uh, new project here. And today, we're going to talk about floor framing. So, you can see behind me, we are using the iJoy system. It's by Roseburg. They're one of the manufacturers of iJoyce. For those of you that aren't familiar with iJoyce, it's basically, they're like mini trusses. There's top cords, bottom cords, and they have an OSB web. But today, we're going to talk about deflection and strength and just what I would consider framing comfort. Now I know it's a little bit of a stretch to put comfort in with framing, but you can see here we have single joists. Now this is pretty typical. It's a single joist, 16 inches on framing, but here notice we go to double joists. Right? So why did I double these up? You can see as you pan out that way, that the double joists only go for about half of the floor frame. Now, the reason for that is in the middle of where these double joists are is the kitchen island. And one of the things that I like to provide to my uh, clients is, is this kind of a framing comfort, I call it, in such that you have the kitchen island, a couple of years or a year from now, they're gonna have their Christmas party, you have the kitchen island, everybody's got their wine glasses out there, there's a bunch of people standing around that island. Someone walks across the floor and everybody's wine glass shakes. Now, everybody's wine glass is shaking not because the floor is about to fail, it's just that the deflection for that floor system isn't as stiff as I would like it to be for this, what I call framing comfort. So I double up the joists in a lot of areas. If we're doing large format tile, sometimes is another reason to do it. But typically we do it, you know, always under the kitchen island there where we go from the single to that double frame. It gives it a little bit more stiffness. And, you know, our clients really love the idea that we're thinking this far ahead and we're thinking about their Christmas parties when we're doing the framing plan. So, anyways, let's jump back to the studio. We'll break up the framing plan and we'll continue the discussion.